Hello everybody, I am Jay Leonard Jay, and today we are checking out the Boomster Mark II by Jam Pedals. Well, ladies and gentlemen, look what I have on the bench today. Uh, I've always been a fan of the Jam Pedals Boomster. I think it's a very versatile circuit and it has a lot of uses on your board. Uh, but I will say this new version is pretty much better in almost every way. This is a very versatile boost uh, that can do a lot of really cool things uh, on your board. So uh, we do have one volume knob. We have three different modes uh, of EQ. So uh, depending on what gear you have, the way you want to boost your sound, where you have it in your pedal board, you have a lot of versatility there. Very powerful and very beautiful sounding buffer in there. Uh, you can go buffered mode or true bypass mode and an expression pedal out. So you can use this thing as a volume pedal when you're even bypassed and when you have it on. So there's a lot of really cool things you can do with it. Let's experiment with it, shall we? I got myself a Fender Telecaster with my J Mod signature pickups and string joy strings, and I'm gonna go into a bad cat, hot cat. Oh my goodness. Let's plug this thing in and uh, experiment and see exactly how this thing can make everything just better. <laughs> All right, we are all wired up and ready to go. Uh, if you look at the pedal from face value, it's actually pretty straightforward. There's a lot of tricks under the hood, which we'll get into, but uh, just right off the bat, we have level. It goes from unity all the way up to about 16 dBs of ferocity, and you have a voicing switch. So right in the middle is our neutral clean boost sound. So uh, two modes, uh, when you're in bypass, you have a buffered mode and a true bypass mode. Uh, right now I'm in buffer to take advantage of uh, that really lovely sounding buffer. I have a long cable draw, so it really helps. This is what it sounds like, just the amp, the guitar, and the buffer. <laughs> Lovely, lovely. Let's go turn on the Boomster and start bringing up that level.
lovely, lovely. It's a very pure sounding uh, clean boost. Uh, now let's go play with some of the voicings. If I go up, it's gonna soften the top end. It kind of reminds me of uh, going through like an old tape delay, the preamp in those, where it just kind of smooths and blends everything together in a nice way. Uh, really nice, especially if you have that treble pickup really cutting in. <laughs> a little bit of a glue and you could also uh, choose how much you soften it uh, with an internal a trim pot as well. Down low is our mid boost, and you could also choose uh, with an internal trim pot how much of that mid boost you want. It's a, a really nice effect because uh, it's like getting that mid boosty overdrive you have only when you push this thing, instead of getting the overdrive from the pedal, you're getting it from your amp. So you get that nice forwardness while retaining all the character of your amp. <laughs> a neat little effect too. Um, you could use uh, the little foot switch here as opposed to on and off. You could actually hold it uh, to turn it on uh, for momentary action. So if you're just doing little spurts of leads, you can actually just hold it and get that spurt out. <laughs> Let's go crank up the amp a little bit. This is the uh, gain side of my amp. So with the full range boost, you're gonna get everything, including that low end, which will be, um, especially as I turn up the gain, because of all that low end in the flat setting, it'll loosen up the low end a bit. <laughs> We can tighten it up. Let's go to that mid boost. If you want to tame the crispiness, we could do the uh, smoothing on the top side. Really, really fun. 
funky stuff. Now, we've been running this into the overdrive of my amp, into my amplifier. Let's put the gain before the pedal. And actually, that's where I uh, typically like to put my uh, Boomster traditionally. So uh, I have a Eureka. Now, if I put the Boomster and all 16 dBs of boost into it, you'll end up just overloading the fuzz. It'll get splatty. Instead, what we want to do is get our fuzz and make it thicker and bigger. And here's a little trick I like to do. You get your fuzz, you get your boost after it, you roll off the top end so those, uh, the little sibilances, all the little fizziness on the fuzzes, it kind of subdues a little bit, and you end up with a nice, really thick fuzz sound. Check this out. <laughs> Richer that sound. Now there's one more trick up the sleeve of this pedal and that is uh, with the expression pedal out. I have a little expression pedal right over here and it's connected to it and I could do is I can like say, let's go to a neutral setting. I could choose the upper limit of the expression pedal with this knob over here so I can just go from zero to where this is set. <laughs> Not only can I do that, but if I'm running it in buffered mode, which I'm doing right now, when I'm having it off, the volume actually still works here. Check this out. The only difference is instead of going up to the level here, it actually goes up to unity. So it goes from zero to unity. And then when I turn it on, it goes to where this is set, plus the coloration of this knob over here, or the switch over here. And that's a really neat feature that I don't actually see in a lot of pedals. What's neat about it is I can come up with my overall volume or tweak it depending on what part of the song I'm at. And then when I turn on the boost, it's always in a relatively good spot of boost that I want it to be uh, relative to my bypass tone. So uh, it's really useful, useful, useful stuff uh, to create some wonderful different textures and abilities to get sounds out of your rig. <laughs>
And that is the Boomster Mark II by Jam Pedals. Well, that is it. That is the video. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe to the page if you haven't done so already. Check out the links in the description below. And if you want to hear my review on the Boomster, check it out on Patreon. I do all my reviews on Patreon, sponsored by the Patreon supporters, and all my demos and tutorials. All that other stuff is right here on YouTube. Uh, my question for the subscribers is, uh, who of you are using a clean boost? on your board and how are you using it? Where are you putting it in? Uh, what role does it serve? Uh, right in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you all soon. Take care and goodbye.